What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Big Logan channel. I'm your host, Big Logan. Welcome aboard. If you guys are new to the channel, we are doing a DIY van conversion here. This is Peggy. Peggy, meet new YouTubers. <laughs> YouTubers, meet Peggy. Uh, thanks to all my loyal subscribers out there. Let's rock and roll in some more DIY projects. This is all kinds of DIY goodness. I'm thoroughly enjoying this project. We're doing some more structural, some framing. We've got all kinds of components shipping in. So gonna be a full-blown adventure van project. Can't wait to vlog it all. Can't wait to share it with all of you guys. Let's get today's episode started. Woo! All right, guys, we're set up for day two of the build here. Got everything set on little Craftsman campus here. Looking right, looking right. Hey, wanna roll some footage real quick of an update? We got the kill mat in. Shout out to my boys Jackson and Reese for helping me out. Roll that footage real quick. Everywhere that you think there's a little... Knock. See how it like, resonates, see how it echoes? Echo. Echo? You gotta, put, you gotta put a sticky on there. Okay, so where do you think you need to put peel it? Like a big sticker. See that? Oh. Yes. Okay. But watch out. Every big square. Big oh, square. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, you got it there. That's All right. Hey, yeah, what? Say what's up, Big Logan Champ? You're gonna be on the vlog, Jackson. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, try and uh. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Of course I can like this. Yeah, right there. Dude, that's perfect. Now push hard. Push, 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 push. Every every square inch, push all over it. Make sure it sticks good. See the corner up here? Yeah. Good job. Okay, the, this takes it. See how the, the sheet metal doesn't sound so ringy and drummy anymore? Yeah, see, it needs one down there. Yeah. There you go. I can't go and that's the whole point of this. Remember how it was really loud when you rode up the road with the gravel? Yeah, peel it down there. Like a big band aid. Like a big band aid. Oh my gosh, it doesn't. It won't bend. It like to bend. You have to I got it. I got it. Look at this. Yeah, just breakable. mash it down. No, it's okay. Don't have to be perfect. My God. Y'all are Look, better Reese did a good me. job. Dude, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> you like that? High five. Thank you so much for your help. No. Say, uh, like, subscribe to the Big Logan channel. Like and subscribe to Big Logan channel. Yeah. Good job on the build. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Jackson and Reese, for helping out. We went down to my buddy's house, uh, John Boy, and uh, they jumped right on it. Helped get the sound deadener in. So now we're ready for the king bed frame structure and structural framing for the inside of this place. So let me roll over here again and show you what we're talking about uh, doing here. Um, if you guys haven't already checked out the full design, I'm gonna link that uh, above. So basically we're gonna build a king bed that slides out it will cover up a convertible shower pan and part of the kitchenette um, sitting area. This is this is an old design as a bench. We're actually doing two chairs here instead. But focusing on the uh, king bed here, we're just going to build this out of two by eight and uh, some two by twelve for the headboard and footboard, two by fours for the actual bed slat. So nice and rigid. Going to be kind of heavy, but I'm a big boy. We're going to do a big king bed in there. Should be comfy. Let me show you how we're gonna attach this thing to the van. Okay, so down the left and right side of the van will be these two by eights. And holding those up is gonna be a simple 3 8 inch by two inch bolt, which fits perfectly right over here into these uh, hexagonal um, holes in the side of the van. So it, it fits good without moving around too much. We're gonna displace that load with big uh, SAE flat washers on both ends, and we will router down to accommodate for the depth in that wood so it's a nice flush mount down both sides for finishing. Um, not such a priority on the back here where it'll be the trunk garage space, but more so up by the kitchen area and over here by the uh, dining area. So let's get started. We're gonna size this lumber up, get it fitted, and get the day going. Yeah. All right, we didn't get anything done yet. Uh, a little step to get in the van, um, nice and sturdy. Pretty tall van, so you can use it over here. Use it back here. Might even use it. Take it camping. Um, throw some stain on it. Throw it in the trunk. All right, these are the boards that are going down the left and the right side of the bed. 275 inches. Okay, 
Real quick, I'm gonna show you here. This is going to be the sideboards running structurally down the length of the king bed. Up top here is where the footboard is gonna slide on top of this. The convertible area in the front of the van will have this exposed and the footboard is gonna slide up and down it. So right now I'm measuring and driving my countertop height because the footboard is gonna extend over the removable countertop that sits above the convertible shower. So there will be butcher block or some form of countertop material we haven't decided yet over the shower pan. The bed can slide over the shower pan and the countertop or the countertop can be removed and the bed can still traverse whether the butcher block over the shower is in or not. We have 36 inch countertops in our house. We like that. Seems more comfortable to have a taller top in the van. Uh, not sure why, maybe because when you're looking down at the ground, you feel a little more secure with a taller countertop out the van door. Um, so we're doing a 37 inch countertop and all of this starts with the bed. That's why this is kind of taking me a while to process this. I've been not filming probably for a half hour or so. Just mock this up. So what we're gonna have is the center line of the hardware hole routed out to facilitate a washer to distribute that load really nicely keep this bottom from cracking, but I want to keep this mounted as high as I can on this flush surface. So we took an inch away of usable board height up here. This measures out six inches right here from our floor up measures exactly 31 inches. It'll be roughly 37 inches from the subfloor to the countertop and the start of the bottom of the footboard as it pulls in and out. So I got the dimensions all the way down here from my reference point in the back where the bed's gonna uh, stop or at least the structural member will end before the 45 comes out so five uh three eighths inch bolts going right in here what's nice is you can reach back through here to put your nut on have nylock uh locking washers for the rear so they'll never rattle out once they're snug down with the impact and it's about to get started we're cut the length we're going to pre-drill and router these holes and we're going to slap in the bed boards All right, that, uh, that was a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. Reaching back in here to get those bolt heads um, or nuts on were pretty fun, but, but the right side's in. It's looking awesome, it's super solid. Time to do this side. We got the other board in. We got both sides in. So her and I are up here with chairs because we're gonna have the little dinette table, just a little two-seater here. So I'm trying to figure out this position here and how it plays in comfort-wise. All right, all right. So we're gonna have that bulkhead here that separates our electrical here, our fresh water here, water system, pump, everything. That'll be 43-ish inches from the back here. So I'm just trying to drive the back of the chair, some, some form of chairs that definitely aren't gonna be these chairs. You might be able to cheat that just a bit. I think we have like 24 inches in the chair. I think this can even maybe cheat back a little more. Not bad. It's actually a lot of room here. Yeah. You can hold hands. I like hold hands. Awesome. Well, that helps me determine the bulkhead back here. So that is the king bed. To get all the headroom that we got out of this uh, van, I'm going to run this headboard on a 45, and that'll actually prep to trim all this out, finish it really nicely. So next step now is to build this bulkhead. Eventually that's gonna be a solid bulkhead, but I am sizing it out to install these lower pieces. Those are going in right now. 
So, it's been a lot of work. We drove our bulkhead with the wife and I sitting comfortably in the chairs. I can sit comfortably in the chairs. Anybody can sit comfortably in this chair. So, let's get these um, bulkhead halves in and get down to it. Oh yeah. Good morning, good morning. We are rolling out to pick up our fridge. We're going to a local freight depot. Let's hit the road. Oh, I could just build a van. Just drop it down. Perfect. All right, we'll see you. You as well. Ta da! All right, there she is. She's back home here. We're going to get set up for the day and get framing. You know, I was just thinking, guys, while we're at it here uh, building this van, you guys should comment below. If you like this video, like it. Subscribe to Big Logan channel today. Come partner up with us as we create, build, explore, and laugh and have fun all along the way. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Let's get back into the build. Woo! All right, so we're gonna do some framing here. I've already got a cut to length. So I'm gonna do is pre-mark uh, some areas where I'm gonna put a self-tapping screw in here, but I'm gonna counterbore with the router again to hide the screw head below here. So just gonna kind of come down here, mark some good spots. Let's see, looking good. And we're gonna go to the router. I have the router preset to hide. I have one inch shelf tappers, number 12s. I have inch and a half too, in case I need to get a little bit deeper into the sheet metal or if there's a little gap in all these undulations in the sheet metal. So that's gonna hide down here. Should have plenty of thread to get into the sheet metal and get a good bite. So let's router this. All right, all right. So I'm gonna run uh, Liquid Nails Original. Just a little bit of adhesive just to take away from some of the creaks that might come with putting wood right against to it. And this should help uh, bond the hardware too. A little better. Here we go, here we go. Board number one framing is going up. I had my doubts on whether I wanted to put a lock washer behind here just to help with road vibration. But I think these self tappers are really digging into this soft pine furring strip really well. Time to do the ceiling, the sides, rinse and repeat. Let's get it going, baby. y'all check it out check it out got a bunch of framing in here all along the ceiling looking right looking right down the back we're getting there it's a hot one today about 90 degrees out so carry on keep pushing let's do it All right, quick update on the uh, framing here. So these bad boys are going in pretty good. Trial and error, messed up a bunch. Finally got the dimensions in. So track with me here. I'm gonna show you what we're uh, doing for those bad boys. Cutting down fur into 10 inch pieces, throwing them into my best friend Craig here. Um, so my best friend Brad is nailing in two Brad nails. They're actually finished nails it up. We'll just call Brad and Craig. Um, so two brad nails are going in on 45s to hold the bottom in. Craig's going in up top. Those things are locking into the one, or I keep calling them one by ones, the two by twos that are up here on the top. So those things are locking in to make a really nice transition. Stuff the wool packing and insulation behind there. 
and we are off to the races. That'll make a nice uh, backstop for the plywood that'll transition to the roof and or shelving and whatnot. I still have to do this side. Let's knock those out. I'm gonna get those done. I'm gonna call it a wrap here though today, get these done here and hopefully the next uh, half hour to an hour get this place cleaned up. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following along. We'll get you guys on the next episode. More to come. We'll talk to you guys. See ya. Boo.